Hey guys, John Velasco here from Phone Arena. Right now I'm here talking with HTC Jeff Gordon. He's gonna we're just gonna do a little bit of an interview and just ask a couple questions. So Jeff, do you want to introduce yourself? Great, thank you for uh, having me here. I'm uh, Jeff Gordon, uh, Senior Global Online Communications Manager at HTC. Awesome. Okay, so we're just gonna talk about a couple different things HTC related. So. Right away, first question, HTC had a brilliant deal with the One X and the One S last year, but somehow, some people say it failed to gain traction, um, and many analysts put the blame on marketing, or lack of thereof. Uh, which, do you agree with that, and to what extent? Mm -hmm. um, I, I would honestly say, yes, I do agree with that. In fact, our CEO, Peter Chow, has, has come out publicly and said that um, last year we did have some challenges with marketing, and um, uh, those products uh, didn't move in the quantities that we really would have hoped them to. Uh, Despite the fact that they're fantastic products, they're reviewed extremely well. I know that some uh, some review websites out there rated the One X as you know one of the best phones of the year, if not the best, and. Um it would have been great to have seen that be uh, more successful, but uh, we did have some challenges in marketing, and I think that what you see from us uh, this year with the HTC One is um, us really digging in our heels on marketing and doing some some new and innovative things. Hopefully, uh, uh, Phone Arena readers uh, see that in the ads that are on TV now and also on uh, digital ads online and elsewhere that we're doing a, a lot of things right now and making sure people know about HTC and know about HTC One as our flagship for 2013. Awesome. Sounds good. Second question. Uh, Ultra Pixel camera sends a pretty powerful branding campaign message, but then again, when you think about like a four megapixel camera on a flagship device, it kind of maybe se uh, might seem like a pretty weak message when, in terms of marketing. So, uh, which one do you think has a bigger impact uh, to consumers? Uh, do you think it's a big, uh, you know, trade-off worth it? Good question. It's um, it, it's an educational challenge, and we um, we knew going into this that it would be difficult for us to make sure that the customers understand the value of uh, the ultra pixel. And, and and yeah, I know ultra pixel is a um, you know air quotes marketing term, um, and some people say why don't you just call it uh, megapixels? But we we do call it ultra pixels because since it lets in 300% more light than a typical pixel, it really is something entirely different. We have to educate the market that um, you will get fantastic shots with this. You will get incredible incredible uh, low light photography with this. And so from a technical standpoint, we're very proud in what it does. It's certainly incumbent upon us as HTC to uh, uh, help people understand the value that it brings. And you'll, you'll be seeing that from us in some of the, the ad campaigns that we're going to be running that are going to be focused on, uh, on ultra pixels and uh, you know, the PR that we do around educating uh, the market for this. So um, you know, we're, we're glad that we made that bet. Um, definitely a, a tough one. But uh, we are, uh, we're definitely in it for the, the long haul, and we're very proud of the technology. So uh, Samsung's your biggest competitor in the Android space right now. Uh, in what ways do you consider HTC to be better than Samsung in terms of like product portfolio? And in what area do you think HTC could be more like Samsung, so you know, so to speak? Right. Uh, we're better in absolutely every way. <laughs> uh, no, no. Besides, besides the stock answer. Um, you know, I, I think we, uh, we we have a healthy respect for Sam, what Samsung does. Uh, clearly, they they do have um, some you know great products, great technologies. Um, certainly, when you look at the specs on their devices, it's um, it's phenomenal in some of their flagships. That being said, I think that what HTC brings to the table is a um, a level of design and uh, focus on the aesthetics of a product that really is second to none. I think that really um, uh, bears out when you look at the difference between uh, holding the HTC One in your hands versus uh, holding the, the Galaxy S4 in your hands. And, and you know the One feels like that extremely premium, almost piece of jewelry that you pull out of your pocket that just it, it feels just beautiful in your hands, and then you know the other, the Galaxy S4, uh, is you know uh, to use you know some some reviewers' words, not even my own words. It's just a little bit of a rehash of the of last year's model, and so you know we we have that kind of attention to detail, aesthetics, and design, and so forth that we think is is very powerful in a lot of consumers' minds. I also think that when you look at um, Sense 5 and some of the things that we've done from a software standpoint in the user experience. I, I think that uh, our teams on UX have done some really brilliant things in, in drawing out the kinds of experiences that customers want in their phone and at the same time reducing a lot of the cruft in, in the experience that I think some people have said uh, maybe bloated Sense in the past. And, and now when you look at Sense 5, it's it's clean, it's fresh, it's, it's flat graphically in a lot of ways that reminds people sort of like that stock Android experience that, that uh, a lot of 
lot of people find very interesting. And so we're very proud of that, and I think that the market has really resonated well with that, as opposed to uh, what we have heard a lot of people comment on Samsung, that um, you know, TouchWiz is, is, is getting to be where maybe Sense was a few years ago, where there's just a lot of flashy color without a whole lot of you know, substance underneath. So you know, there's definitely some differences there. Um, in terms of you know how uh, HTC could be more like Samsung, uh, you know that that would be tough for me to to speculate on. Uh, you know it would be it would be fun if we had the uh, marketing dollars that Samsung has because I would imagine if we had that kind of money we could do some amazing things. But uh, you know we have to be uh, more nimble because we don't have those kinds of marketing budgets. So that's why our our ad campaigns will be um, a little bit more playful, a little bit more out of the ordinary, and uh, hopefully we'll have the kind of impact that we need for the. HTC HTC One with uh, fewer dollars. In what way, according to you, is 2013's HTC better than 2012's HTC? Um, I think absolutely, and and you can see that in the HTC One. I mean, hands down, without question, best product that HTC has ever released. I've been with the company for a little over two years at this point, and I've never seen the kind of response to any of the products that we've released that we have for the HTC One. So, um, so, so without question, from a product standpoint, definitely, you know absolutely uh, over the moon and am amazing. Internally as well, I think things are going great at HTC right now. Um, I think that we're just operating in all on you know full cylinders right now. Design teams coming up with some great things. Uh, software teams really moving ahead with moving the, uh, the sense experience forward. And so even as the One is a fantastic product, we have a roadmap coming up ahead that's absolutely going to you know wow and amaze people. And I'm very excited to uh, be where HTC is at right now. So when you guys announced the Windows, the HTC 8X, the Windows Phone, and the 8S, uh, not too long ago, there's a moment when uh, you thought that H wouldn't. Well, everyone thought that H HTC would replace Nokia as being the, uh, you know, premier uh, manufacturer for Windows Phone. Uh, but since then, it seems like very little has come out in terms of portfolio offerings for Windows Phone. Um, how are things going to differ, and are you still actively, you know, partnering with Microsoft right now? Mm -hmm. Uh, we're certainly um, invested in our partnership with Microsoft. Um, you know, the, the 8X uh, was very successful in terms of the, the reviews, and, and people really loved the design of that product. And in fact, that's one of my favorites that our designers have ever done. Um, that being said, of course, being a company that focuses on, on uh, Android very heavily in addition to Windows Phone, um, it's, uh, it's a little bit of a, a balance sometimes to see where we're going to invest our marketing dollars and, and which products we're really going to push. Uh, with the One being our flagship right now, clearly we are all in on the One. And so you're not hearing quite as much from us on the Windows Phone front and, and pushing the 8X, despite that it's still uh, on sale. Um, and, uh, and, and you know, for the time being, that's pretty much going to be the, the way that it is. But, uh, but certainly, we're continuing to be um, uh, invested in Windows Phone as well. So while we don't have anything new to announce on that front right now, definitely you know stay tuned for more. All right, thanks a lot, Jeff. Sure, thank you. Appreciate it.